Hey everybody, uh, June 26, 2010, Happy Dog Farm. The, um, the effort continues. Uh, today is sort of a milestone. I'm 95% complete with the drip irrigation process. You might hear in the background a, a generator running, and you probably don't hear the water pump running, but good things are happening right now. Um, over there in the back of Murphy, you can see I got a water pump. Well, I've got two barrels of water. And when they're on their side, I'm figuring I've got about 40 gallons. Small generator by the wheel and a small, cheap water pump going into a pipe in the ground. And that pipe in the ground feeds all of the rows. There's a buried, you saw me digging, well now there's a buried one inch diameter feed line and I can run four rows at a time now irrigating and it's really kind of nice. I don't know if I can get this very clearly. There we are. And it's just a drip, drip, drip. Each emitter is putting out one gallon per hour. And hindsight, maybe I should have gone with two gallons per hour, but we'll see. I'm a patient person, and that gives me a lot of time to do other stuff while the um, pumps are running. Um, we're supposed to get rain today, of course. <laughs> of course. But I'm watering anyway because um, these trees are responding. Most all of them are responding to the watering. So the trees that were showing symptoms of drought are getting watered. Um, everything's a crapshoot down here. Uh, walking along the row, the trees I'm most worried about are this row. I have no idea whatsoever why this row is showing signs of drought so badly. I really don't. But. Well, the most I can do is give them enough and prayfully not too much water. And they will respond and they will return to me. Um, the generator right now, for what it's worth, uh, for folks in the States, that is a Harbor Freight. It's the little 800 watt generator driving the three quarter horsepower shallow well pump. When I'm running four rows at once, it runs for approximately 25 seconds of pumping for two minutes of irrigation. And the pump seems like that duty cycle, the generator I mean. If I try to run the pump more often, uh, and that is more rows at once, it tends to overload the generator. Right now, it just seems to be enough it puts up with it. Two 55-gallon drums laying on their sides is about 40 gallons per drum, which is 80 gallons of water, and it all sort of works out. Anyway, uh, oh, by the way, if, for those of you folks in the States, those um, if you get the water pump and the generator on sale, that little package together is well under $200, so it's like a good deal. Um, I went to Dripworks. For most of the plumbing, this is the pipe. Uh, it's a what is this stuff? 0.7 millimeter. You know, this is like mix of magic metric and stuff that's running around drip piping. But it's um, it's the smaller size. Maybe it's a half inch on the other side of the scale. Uh, it's a smaller pipe one emitter on each side of the trees again to try and bring the roots out and not create a weep hole on either side of the tree each row I'm blowing flies off my hands if you hear that each row has its own little valve which is right there say hi to the valve and it transitions from the riser to an adapter that goes to normal pipe thread to a, and it's all it's really sweet because you can actually cut the stuff with the scissors and then everything's hand tightened so honestly trenching the row was a bit of a challenge I backbladed it with the uh, front end loader to cover it again and then I'll wait you know a week or two and 
soil will settle, push it around some more. I also, if, you, if you're doing this, I really recommend that you grade gravel underneath the pipe to uh, keep it kind of level so that when you pile all the dirt on top of it, you're not putting some real crimps on the PVC pipe. It would probably break it. If anything, support all the joints so they don't have a tendency to crack. Well, anyway, uh, it's really a beautiful Sunday day, Sunday here in Pennsylvania, Alleluia. And uh, that's all I've got for now. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.